Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So I felt drawn to use this deck. So let's see what your angels, your, your spirit team has to say to you. So they want you to love yourself. Know that you are enough as you are, okay? Make your happiness a priority at this time. Um, Because you have a miracle that's unfolding for you, okay? One, did I see 111? Possibly. Um, they're just telling you to continue to nurture yourself because there is miracles flowing into your life by you doing that. Miracles are flowing into your life. Your angels are helping you resolve your challenges in ways that will surprise you. We have take the initiative. So you guys were maybe at some point waiting for somebody or waiting for something to happen for you or to you or somebody to come towards you. It says waiting for things to happen will not work. Make your own way forward to put yourself in a position to win. So maybe you guys really need to work, needed to work on nurturing yourself and on your, your, your self-love. That was the initiative you needed to take to put yourself in a position to win, to manifest better for yourself. All right. Yeah. Maybe you guys needed to take some time to stop and reassess. Or for some of you, when something is presented to you here in the near future, they're telling you, it says you need more information about this situation in order to make the right decision. Look into it further and pay attention to the details. Maybe you guys, um, we're wanting something to progress, but now that you guys have taken some time like to stop and reassess, you're looking at the situation completely differently. You may be thinking like, why did I actually want that for myself? Like that would not have been a good situation for me to be in. How did I miss that? Yeah, it's time to make some healthy changes. There's something in your life that isn't helping your body and mind. Focus on creating a wellness focused mind and body. We have look up. So yeah, miracles, miracles and look up here. What you perceive to be over is merely a catalyst for change. What was will return in a different form. So they're telling you to continue to nurture yourself and focus on you because there is some type of miracle that's unfolding in regards to something that you thought was a done deal coming back, but it's going to come back better. All right. After a time of, you know, of, of stagnancy or, you know, taking some time to really introspect or reflect here. Yeah. Warrior spirit. You were born with a, a warrior spirit in order to survive the path of knowledge. Let your challenges bring up the very best in you. Yeah, children. The children card just stays coming out these days. But it says you may be called to nurture a child or tend to your own inner child. Create opportunities focused on play. So some of you guys really need to um, have fun. I don't know. Like, you guys need to have fun, not take things so seriously. Enjoy your life. Yeah, advancement here. You're about to level up. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself to take the next step in your life and show the universe you are ready. Compromise is needed. In order to have a positive outcome for this situation, it's necessary to compromise, create a win-win solution. I feel like something is coming. You've been in some type of situation where somebody where it was only beneficial to them and not beneficial to you at all or vice versa. And Spirit is saying that the only way for something to move forward is if there's an equal give and take. If it's a win-win, if it's a win-win situation mutually beneficial so if somebody's not coming is coming towards you and they don't want to compromise with you um or they don't want to meet you in the middle or you you assess the situation they're telling you to stop and reassess something is going to be presented to you but they're telling you to stop and reassess get more information before you make the decision to go to take this offer or to go back into this situation whatever it is pay attention to the details because if you will pay attention to the details you will notice that somebody is wanting things their way or the highway or it, you need to like you're like is this beneficial to them or is this beneficial to both of us or is it just beneficial to me? Like, that's what they're wanting you to do. Spiritual rebirth here. Let go of your old self. See, somebody needs to, somebody's trying to have their cake and eat it too here. Yeah, somebody is wanting to hold on to their old life and their old ways of thinking, being, you know, their addictions, their toxicity, and also trying to be with you at the same time. But it says, let go of your old self and allow the authentic self to emerge, to reunite your soul with the divine source. Yeah, so... Somebody needs to go through a spiritual rebirth here, spiritual death and rebirth. But until then, spirit says boundaries. When you don't protect or overprotect your boundaries, your needs go unmet, right? You can renew your boundaries, yeah. Give me a couple more. Let's do two. Two more. What do they need to know? We have embrace the dark and celebrate success. So it says allow yourself to feel... And be present to hold and nurture those dark, unlit parts of yourself and your life will begin to expand because of it. And it says, celebrate success. Be proud of what you have achieved. You struggled long and hard to get to this point. So I feel like you guys have already, you guys have been going through like the dark night of the soul or something like that. Where you guys have been trying to nurture those dark parts of yourself. Maybe those parts of yourself you didn't even really recognize that you needed to heal and work on. 
um you guys have gone through a lot of growth like you guys have really gone through the dark night of the soul i feel like whoever this is that's coming through in your reading they have yet to go through this um pay attention to your dreams as well your dreams could be shedding light on something here yeah someone or something in your life needs to be seen in a different light observe things you have missed i was just saying that if you look closely you what you want and what this person wants is not the same thing or if somebody can't make up their freaking mind when the choice is hard, follow your heart and your desires will stop fighting against each other. Pressing matters. A pressing problem, need, or issue has to be dealt with immediately. It's time to focus on what's important. Good luck. You guys will make the right decision here with the good luck card, though. Somebody has to give up something. Yep, you can't have a new beginning without letting something go. Create space for change. And new it's like somebody is wanting to have a new beginning with you without changing themselves or without letting go of their baggage. Mm -mm. They're wanting, someone's wanting to have their cake and eat it, too, here. And so you're saying if you look closely, if you pay attention to what they're saying, their whatever, think about what happened in the past, you will you will see that this person is still coming towards you in the same energy. There's something that you got to change in your dynamic with somebody here, and you're going to do it out of, you need to do it out of self-love. This may be really hard for you to whatever, set a boundary here, reject a person. Give me one card on children before I move on to the next deck, though. What's children? Dance with fire. See, they're telling you to have fun or be. don't be so, yeah, do more of what makes you happy and feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you and lights your soul on fire. So, yeah, they want you to enjoy your life. Yeah, things may be hidden from you. Make sure you double check everything, see? And be careful who you trust at this time. So somebody's coming towards you. They're not really ready to let go of their past or their bad habits, toxic ways, people, baggage. But and they're going to be hiding this from you. They're going to be wearing a mask. But it's saying be careful who you trust and double check everything. Pay attention to the details. Stay on it. it you have to stay on the vibration of what you're trying to manifest. And if you don't listen to your gut and you don't, you you know, you ignore your ignore the red flags and all that stuff, it's going to like. You're going to knock yourself out of alignment with what you've been trying to manifest there. Because Spirit says you're really close to it. Yeah, you're almost there. Don't give up. If you keep following the same path, you will soon reach. Don't let this person take you off path because you have some type of vibrational blessings coming in. Yeah. Yeah, joyful times. A celebration is coming up. A wedding, a proposal, a birthday, or an achievement will be a wonderful time in your life. Yeah. You're dealing with a, a very clever person. You're navigating a tricky situation. Create or reconsider your game plan before moving forward. Yeah. When this person reaches out to you, just take a minute. Don't answer them back right away or whatever they're about to do. Before you accept this offer or whatever this is, really think it through. Observe how this person is talking to you and what they're saying to you. Is this person showing you with their actions? Is Are they all talk? Like, think about the past. Reflect on the past and how this person's coming towards you now or whatever this offer it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It doesn't feel romantic. Yes, but. Mm. What else do they need to know about this situation? What is this situation referring to? Or whatever just came out in the oracles. What is this referring to? Any more clarity on the situation, Spirit? The chariot, cancer energy. There's some type of action that's about to take. Somebody's about to take the initiative and do something here to want to reconcile with you. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Tell me more. Yep, but this person, I'm telling you, someone that is about to reconcile with you, but this person is lustful or they're unstable. They could be hot tempered, they have a lack of self control. They got a lot of growing up to do. They could be very egotistical. This is somebody that's maybe growing impatient. They were waiting for you to possibly come in. Because what's the card underneath this? Yeah, take the initiative. Somebody's taking action towards you because they're tired of waiting for you to take action towards them. Yep. They were hoping that you would be the one that would come in with the communication. But they're not in a good energy. They're going to try to reconcile with you, though. Yeah, the Empress in reverse. This is somebody that has not grown. They have not changed. Tell me more. The Knight of Pentacles. They have a lot of, it's like, 
they're slowly making progress or it's going to take them a while before they become stable. Yeah, this person has a lot of issues. Insecurities, overly sensitive, needy, fragile, codependent, victim mentality. Yeah, yeah. What's that do with my collective though? Queen of Cups in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. See, somebody has a third party. Yeah, this person or has third parties. The High Priestess in reverse, yeah. Hidden motive here. This person may need you for something too. Or they're with a third party for a hidden motive. So the back of the deck, the Ace of Cups on the back of the deck, the Ten of Swords. So that's the ending and a new beginning here. Clarity that what? Knight of Pentacles. That. that it's like something started, as fast as something started, it ended. Like if they got into a new relationship with somebody, or it, who, I don't know if this is you or with them with somebody else. It could be an air sign you're dealing with, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but somebody had got into a new relationship or they had a new beginning in love and that ended just as quick as it started with the Ten of Swords here. And it didn't end good. It could have ended in loss, betrayal. Yeah, crisis. Yeah, not good. But it's given them some type of clarity that they're like maybe better off, that they were better off single than being with that person or something like that. So they're freeing themselves. But it's like, they're coming back towards you to reconcile with you. But just remember this person, whoever they were dealing with has left their life in shambles. Or it could have been that you guys tried to cultivate something and then it ended. And then when you left, their life went to shit. I don't know. It could be both things. But somebody is trying to reconcile with you. I do see that uh, energy of rejection here. So you guys probably aren't going to take this person back. Or you're going to really take some time. You're not going to be making any quick decisions here. Or they're warning you to not make any quick decisions. It says, weigh your options. All right, you will have a decision to make, but with the Six of Swords here, see, this person needs to make the decision to leave their options alone. With the Seven of Cups, some of you guys may have options. You're like, do I want to leave behind all my options to, you know, just lock, you know, be with this one person? See, they're lying to you. This person's going to tell you that they've left some other options behind. They're not juggling anymore. It's not true. With the Justice Reverse, this person's lying to you. Yeah. So I feel like, weird, yeah, with this card, say no. This you rejecting this person is going to be a tower moment for them. Yep. Defend yourself. Stay guarded. And it's like something about it's going to change. They're finally going to leave some type of toxic habit situation people behind here. And they're going to do it quickly, too. That's when things are going to move very quickly to be in something very stable and long term if you want it. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be indecisive about this. Mm, okay, let's get some more clarity. What do I want to use? What else do they need to know about the situation, Spirit? Hold on. Yes, eventually showing itself to me. Yes, eventually they'll want to leave all their options and all their, their side people or whoever this their third party is behind, but it ain't yet. This person, something about the, you rejecting them or not just taking them right back. That's making them want to clear out all their other options. Yep, you're wanting your forgiveness, letting go of emotional burdens, key to healing and growth and connection, acknowledging your feelings and that of your twin. It doesn't have to be your twin flame, but... Well, we do have mirroring nature come out. So for some of you, it is a twin flame situation. If you're feeling under duress or feeling solemn, I feel it too. When you're thinking of me, I'm thinking of you too. Our connection is deep and profound and sometimes difficult to understand. This person is about to surrender to you because you're no longer just going to, you You love yourself more now. Um, you're going to be not ignoring the red flags. They can't have, it's like you're not letting them have their cake and eat it too anymore. So they don't want to lose you, obviously, because something about you rejecting them and not, you know, not settling is making them uh, get their shit together with a quickness. I don't know. I'm ready to surrender myself to our connection. I will no longer run away from it and I will no longer deny it. I'm trusting in the universe and our love for one another. We have spiritual practices here. Yeah, becoming aware to intuition and guides, meditating and releasing self-limiting beliefs, working on inner healing and issues with codependency. I feel like you guys don't need this person anymore. We have Capricorn here. Yeah, so you guys, have, if you guys have issues with codependency, 
Uh-uh, you don't anymore. You don't need this person. But see, they could be needing to heal some part of themselves that's kept them in some type of codependent situation with a third party. We have experienced so many similar things in our lives. I always thought it was the only, I was the only one that had these experiences. I take comfort in knowing you truly understand me. Yeah, patience. I just want you to know how much I miss you and how much you mean to me. It's been difficult moving on without you, but I'm waiting on the perfect time to return and I am trusting in the process. So this person's maybe been trying to heal, but they still had a lot of shit going on. What's tumultuous lives mean for my collective? We have December 22nd through February 6th. What's that do with tumultuous lives? See, material, mentally materialistic. I'm not feeling fulfilled in my life. Therefore, I'm chasing money and status as a way to increase my self-worth. I also feel I'm not equipped to handle our connection. I'd rather focus on what I can't control. What does this have to do with winter? Yeah, they're going to come in and try to charm your ass. I'm just going to, they're wanting to hold on to a situation that's tumultuous for materialistic reasons or whatever. But yeah, I don't understand our connection and the way I feel when I'm with you. Yep, I'm not ready for whatever this is. I can't handle this right now. I'd rather not think about it. I feel like they're going to try to charm you with this charismatic Casanova energy. Ooh, gluttonous gossip. I'm an idiot. I spoke about our connection as if it was trivial. I didn't respect the sanctity of our connection. Instead of keeping things between me and you, I allowed others to interfere. Okay. <laughs> yes, absolutely, too. So Sphere says, yes, absolutely, this person's going to break some type of barrier. There are so many barriers stopping us from being together. I'm trying my best to become a better person so I can knock down the walls for you and eventually with you. Yeah, this person goes through the same thing over and over again with their family or it stems from their childhood. They could have chose somebody over you because they felt like that person was more like them. That's what I was saying with this. Yeah, they could have chose somebody that they felt was more like them. What does charismatic Casanova mean for what's about to happen? Yeah, third party situation. I made you feel inadequate because I chose someone over you. I just said that. I regret the pain I have caused you due to my selfishness and my physical needs. You didn't deserve being treated as an option. They were listening to the wrong people. They were chasing money and... um. Hmm, what's happening in the divine timing? What is winter time time frame coming out in Charismatic Casanova? Desensitized. They're trying to, so I don't really see anything happening. Or hmm. is this what's about to happen? All right, let's see. Give me more clarity on that time frame or um, what's, what's this person's next actions towards my collective? What is this person's next actions towards my collective? So we have divine truth here. They're starting to realize something that they, they, they listen to the wrong people. Um, that they're not happy, that they chose the situation for money over you, they're realizing that they're not happy there. I don't know. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. We have solitude. Time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. Didn't they, did I say that? Yeah, somebody realized they were with somebody else, but then they started realizing that they were better off single. So they could be alone now. Yeah, unexpected. The answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. The unknown. The, un the unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but fear being wrong. The player. See, they don't even want to be a player anymore. They don't want to have these options. The player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. But I don't feel like they, yeah, they haven't 100% let it go, though. It's not feeling the same way, but they're still not wanting 100% let, let it go. It says choices. There is a choice they have to make. They know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't. If they can't stop thinking about you. They're thinking about you moving on with somebody else, what they've done to you. Yeah. They're in the process of clearing negative ancestral patterns. Yeah. They're breaking free from something here, plotting. They're trying to figure out how to come towards you. I think they are going to. Yeah. The divine is guiding them to you, or always has been. They were trying to wait for you to come towards them. It's kind of, they're, yeah. They're about to leave a situation. Why are they leaving this other situation? I feel like it's because you guys, yeah, they have all these feelings and emotions for you. 
they're intimidated by you, but they have all these feelings and emotions for you. Yeah, they have a lot of childhood wounds. See, they have this other person that they chose over you, but they feel you pulling away from them. They thought that you would, they thought that you, they were going to be able to continue to have their cake and eat it too. So they've been sitting with this, this third party or possibly more than just one third party sitting and waiting for you to come back towards them so that they can go back to having their cake and eat it too. It's not happening. They miss you. They have all these feelings and emotions for you and no outlet for it. And then like, I do feel like they're going to reach out to you, but I think you guys are going to end up rejecting this person or kind of putting them on the back burner or something like that. And then they're going to start seeing something for what it is. They're not going to be expecting how you react. That's kind of what I'm getting from this.